Alright, welcome back to Games for Everybody. I'm your host, Matt. So now that we have a tank, let's aid in the evacuation. Get Alicia out of there. Here's the brief for this operation. Alright, the enemy is a squad centered around a single tank currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous, the Brule Town Watch will do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. The Town Watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. Um, we'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Alright. Alright, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. Alright, so once again, my line of troops is at the south, and the enemies is coming from the north. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Alright, so it's Alicia and two town watchmen, and we're hunkered down on uh, some defensive firing positions near the gate that takes you into the rest of the town. The main road going from the gate to the windmill is uh, the enemy is advancing down it. And then to the east, we have uh, some back alleyways and stuff, but I'm not going to worry about those yet. What I'm going to do is try and uh, try and hold off that tank. So there's a thing right here that I can climb, a watchtower. Let's see if I can take out, take out any enemy forces. There's an enemy squad leader up there. See if I can get him from this distance. He's way far away from me. Got him! Yes! Alright, so that should diminish the enemy's ability to make turns. Getting rid of their squad leaders. Alright. So let's get back down. I'm gonna have one of the town watchmen. Well, no, you know what? Let me see if I can take out one of those enemy troopers. No. I am way too outgunned to take them out. I'm just going to hang out down here, take cover, hunker down. I'm going to have this guy right here take cover too, the other town watchman. I'll put them both together right here, have them keep an eye out for anyone. And now I'm going to get... I have one more turn left. I'm going to get Alicia, get her back up onto the watchtower for just a short time. Take out one of those enemy troopers. Oh, there's another squad leader. Let me take them out. Got him. Excellent. I thought I wasn't going to. I thought I was going to run out of shots first. All right, that should help a lot. So now I'm going to have Alicia take cover behind the sandbags. It's the enemy's turn. Let's see what they do next. I can't do anything with their tank yet. All right, so they have four turns. The tank is using two of them to move. Tanks and artillery take two turns. And of course our shots aren't doing anything to the enemy tank. We're pretty helpless against it. If we can get its engine, we might be able... Oh, okay, it took one shot at the main gate. Alright, enemy troops are moving. None of them are squad leaders, so honestly I'm not going to worry too much about them. My, uh... My town watchman can actually take him out. Yep, there goes one. They were able to take him out from cover. Oh, there's another scout coming. Oh, it looks like Alicia can take him out. Oh, my town watchmen are taking him out. Good. Alright, I'm actually just going to hold here. I'm not even going to worry about using my turns, because I'm going to save them for my tank. Alright, it's the enemy's turn again. Alright, what's the tank gonna do? Take another shot at the gate. Ooh, it's starting to crumble. No! If this keeps up. Alright, their enemy scout is moving. It's at about half health. Or he is, I should say. 
Alright, we got him. Good. It's a free kill right there. Alright, looks like one of their enemy shop troopers is moving up. So scouts are armed with uh, basically single firing carbines like the ones that Alicia and the town watch are using, but troopers have fully automatic rifles. So they can just spray us with bullets. Alright, it's our turn. Oh, Welkin's here. So he showed up to the east with his tank. So I'm gonna use it. Let's do it. Let's take out their tank. This thing's kind of hard to drive. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut box. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. All right, I should be able to just bust the wall down by driving through it. So with the tank, I kind of have to adjust the camera view while uh, driving it at the same time. Yep, it just moves through the wall. Look, it's a tank. It's a galleon tank. Alicia. I'm sorry we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right, let's go take it down. All right. And of course, since this is New Game Plus mode, my tank is outfitted with all kinds of really crazy cool guns. Alright, I'll take one shot at the tank. Alright, and then I'm actually going to move it again, since I have the turns for it, and I'm just going to obliterate their tank. One more hit ought to do it. So it lets you know how many hits to destroy an enemy uh, with the weapon you currently have equipped. So... Here we go, took out the tank. There are still enemy soldiers around though. Oh, I won anyway. Okay, the enemy's gonna be forced to retreat after that. Yes! We stopped it! Nice work, East. Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin! The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! Martha had a boy! Born on a tank. She, she gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Alright. Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Alright, let's see what the next cutscene is. Oh, and the town looks the town's just devastated. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Yeah, so there's troops all moving around Bruel. And now uh, they're outside of town looking back at it. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher. 
so that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, she's got the baby. Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. It's destroyed Someday. and overrun with the enemy. We'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Alright. Next chapter. Chapter 3. Vassal Urban Warfare. Alright, let me make sure to check the chapters. Yep, yeah, alright. So let's see what happens next. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Oh, do I have to select? Yeah. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Alright, so that's the situation. Pretty much all of northern and eastern Gallia is under imperial control. It's just the capital, and then southern and western Gallia that are not. Randgris, Gallia's capital. A town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Yeah, so that's the capital. We're there now. We all showed up. Alright, we're at the base for the military. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. Alright, so we're in some type of headquarters room in the base. So these are my new digs. Oh, it's Welkin's dorm. Okay. It's nice. Oh, my uniform. So their uniforms are blue with, uh, like, some red decorations. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. So Alicia's wearing her uniform too. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. Hers is a little more, like, armored looking, but she's wearing a skirt. And she's got, like, a, um... I don't know, it's hard to describe a little tie type thing. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way! That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic! That's so nerdy. Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? 
What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle, king of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very welcome sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. Huh, <laughs> bread pun. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Alright, so that's it for that, and next time we will report in. See you guys next time.